the third of chitlings. Chitlings. Pork chitterlings. Double washed, super premium. All natural. Here's another one. Yeah, you get pulled away. This is the meat. And this is trash. I'm going to show you how to clean chitlins or chitterlings the proper way. Just because they say double wash, like these, the ones that got here, I forgot the brand name. But these said double washed. And double washed, I guess maybe they just washed them because they definitely didn't clean them. Or even if they say double clean, I think we had some before say a triple clean. And they was not triple clean. So right here is a lot of chitterlings. Because me and my husband are going to eat these for the holidays. Thanksgiving. So right here is um five five pound bags. They used to come in a bag. Five pound bags of chicken. Double washed. So I'll show you here. This is a good one I can show you. It's a big one. I like to clean the big ones. They eat a lot. Sometimes it's a lot easier. So see right here, all this stuff that's here. You don't want that. You don't want to eat that. Don't feed it to your family and get them sick. So we're going to take all that off of there. So we're going to start. We're going to find a corner where there's two separate skins. I don't know what you call this. The lining. It's called like the lining. So see right here? I'm gonna pull that apart. Pull that apart. Take all that lining away from the meat. Pull it all away. Can you see that? See how it's separating? So right here in my right hand is the lining. This side is the meat that you're gonna eat. I'm gonna see the dirt that take you down. Too late. If anybody smelled chitlins before, they smell like they smell like <laughs> they smell like like boo boo. Yeah, I know what I was about to say. But look at see how big it is. I hope I get this one. <laughs> My green stuff I'm gonna be looking for. I'm be like I know it's a big one in there. So I hope my husband get his buddy in here help me clean all these day on chilling. Last year he cleaned them all by himself because I didn't eat none because last year I was vegan. But this year I'm not. So that's why I got more chitlings because we both love them. And we have to share. Can you see me still cleaning it? So see. It's okay. Some meat will probably come off too, but we got enough chitterlings, enough of the meat. So right here, still in my left hand, is the lining. Right here, in the right side, that's the meat. The lining is going in the trash. 
Do not feed this to your family. Clean your chitterlings. If you never cleaned them before, I'm guessing somebody might have got sick that ate your food. And they wonder why. But if somebody eating chitterlings and they ate them before, they would know if that lining was taken off of there. All right, so I'm going to show you the difference. This right here is the meat that you're going to eat. This is the meat. This is the meat that you're eating. All right, this is the clean side right here. And this is the lining that you don't eat. See all that? Make sure you take all of that off of your chin. Oh, here go a piece right here I missed. See, right here, you can see where the lining is still connected to the meat. So you can take that off too. You want all the meat. But if it don't come off right, just, I just trash it. But see how it's coming off? Still coming off. So if you want to have chitlins for Thanksgiving this year, they should be good. Yeah, like sometimes I don't even waste like this little piece. Okay, we'll keep that. But the rest of it is, this goes in the trash. Okay, throw that away. Yuck. 